inequalities don't show up too much. But we should know the definitions, we should know the basics about them, and then how to handle inequality problems if they do arise. So some definitions. This symbol means greater than. This symbol means less than. And these are usually put in between two numbers or two quantities of some kind, even letters, to show these ranges, these inequalities. You'll also see greater than or equal to. And then obviously less than or equal to, which I won't write out here, but less than or equal, well, maybe I will. Less than or equal to. So now that we've got some definitions down, let's do some examples. Now when you're dealing with, I shouldn't say inequality equations, that doesn't make sense. When you're dealing with inequalities, I guess that's all we really need to say, uh, like something like this. You just treat them like equations. Uh, imagine this is just an equal sign, keeping this, you know, the sign it is, and just go from there. So for instance, let me subtract seven from both sides. I'm gonna get two x is greater than seven. Divide both sides by two, I get x is greater than seven halves. Okay, that's it, so all the values of x that are greater than seven halves would satisfy this, not including seven halves, but greater than it. And sometimes you'll see this represented on a number line. So if I put in the value seven halves, I say, well, I use a empty circle to indicate this is my boundary, but it doesn't include the boundary. And then I just shade in the number line to the right of it, right? Because anything greater than seven halves satisfies this inequality. How about something like negative three x minus three is less than or equal to 15. Again, let me add three to both sides, so I get that. Now here's the one little trick. If I ever divide or multiply by a negative for an inequality, this turns out the same. This is just negative six, but then I have to flip the sign. This becomes greater than or equal to. That's the one trick, and frankly, I don't think I've ever seen this actually apply on the SAT, but just in case. It's within their you know, rights to ask about it, so we should at least cover it. So again, if I wanted to represent this, it's any number greater than negative six, including negative six. So this time I put in negative six, but I color in the circle because I include the boundary in to my solution set. And I'm going to get anything greater than negative six, so again, it's gonna be in this direction. Uh, one last thing, if you ever see things in a range, so for instance, if you have something like this, four is less than or equal to x, which is less than seven, you can represent this on your number line as follows. So one boundary is four, and that's a closed circle because it's less than or equal to. Another boundary is seven, but that's an open circle because there's no equal to sign here. And then it's everything in between. So I would go ahead and shade things in here, All right? So that would just be the number line way of representing that if it ever came up. But that is pretty much it with inequalities.